What's up guys and welcome back to the 31 days of Jaytober. It's day X. I don't know what day it is anymore. I don't. Neither do I. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're just making content. You know, it's funny. It gives us an opportunity to talk about interesting things that we wouldn't otherwise like burn a video slot with. Um, you guys remember when we did the 780 Ti like trying to fix it video that unfortunately, no spoiler alert. I guess I just spoil it. It doesn't matter. I showed you that Brian with BP Customs also, or BPS Customs also sent me this ATI, it even says it right there, ATI, predates AMD. This November 2009 model of the HD 5970. This comes from an era when graphics card manufacturers, which although ATI did make this card, you know, themselves and then AIBs made them, Sapphire and all of them, I digress, were able to do cool things without companies just sticking their nose in and saying, you can't do that. You would basically, you were allowed to take a die and build the board however you want. You wanna put four of those suckers on here? Put four on there. There's only two on here. But I decided what we'll do today is we'll, we'll see how this sucker holds up 12 years later. This came out in November of 2009. My 12 year old daughter is only five months older than this card. My daughter was a baby when this came out. I figured just for fun, why don't we see how it compares to an RX 6800, non-XT. Yeah. You don't want to be unfair or anything. Huh? I could put it against a 6900 XT. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by me. And these three graphics cards we're giving away. You can't see them because they're not actually here right now. Why? Because I want you to click the link down in the description below to see exactly what cards they are. Worldwide, for free, anywhere in the world where giveaways are not prohibited. So if you want to learn all about which cards we're giving away and how to enter and when it ends and all that sort of stuff, and you're going to have to pause this video, click the link, and go and enter. Don't wait, you'll be sad if you did. You know, like Wayne Gretzky said, the only shot you miss is the one you take and you didn't 100% do. Let's do some quick, like, paper comparisons, shall we? GPU named Hemlock. GPU variant in here is the Hemlock XT. Remember, they brought the XT name back with 6000 series because of what ATI was doing back then. This is when ATI was actually kicking ass and NVIDIA was having to try, and actually try hard. Um, 40 nanometer process in there. To put it in comparison, the GTX 295, which was just being literally slapped around by this card, was a 55 nanometer process. We're in seven nanometer today. So if you wanna talk about transistor density, all right, this has 2.1 billion transistors in it. To put it in perspective, the RT, uh, the, the RT, wow, the GTX 295 has 1.4. Die size 334 millimeters squared. Where the 295, I know I'm comparing it to the 295, but that's because that was kind of what was relevant at the time. Clock speed of 725 megahertz and a memory clock speed of 4,000. Yeah, things have changed. Because if we compare that right now to say the uh, 6800 has, uh, oh, and by the way, this in terms of resolution rating, for 1080p, yellow. If you guys know what I mean, that we go tech power up, you see the way it's, it's, it's like, you'll get a, an experience at a 1080p. There, the GTX 295 was actually orange. So this is better. So it's a, two of these cores to give you a somewhat playable experience at 1080. Recommended 1600 by 900. So there you go. Uh, Navi 21, that, it's got a loose piece on there, which I don't know how that happened, but they don't, yeah, they don't build them like they used to, do they? RDA 2.0, seven nanometer, 26.8 billion. Versus the 2.1 over here, whatever it was. 520 millimeter squared die size. Way denser, obviously. The launch price of this card, $580. <laughs> right, in my pants. I mean, this one's only 1,196% faster. So, fun fact, we I had the test to make sure this worked. We fired it up, and before I could even like, go to GPU, uh, Guru 3D to download it, which they had the drivers. Windows detected it. AMD actually has legacy support for it. Installed the driver, and we actually have the old school driver window. Let me show you. Why, why is it doing that? It was not doing that the last boot. They're a little quieter these days. So this is the this is the AMD Catalyst Control Center, which is funny, but we don't have any of the new like Radeon stuff, right? Wait, AMD Crossfire X is a multi-GPU performance gaming platform that will 
What? Enable crossfire, of course, let's do that. Enable crossfire X. Boom! Two cores too fast. <laughs> too na, too nostalgic. <laughs> too na. <laughs> so obviously any comparison that we do is going to be with crossfire on where available. I, I think we're only gonna compare it to something like Fire Strike. Woo, look at that the sucker. Window is so big. <laughs> <laughs> what resolution are we even in? This 10, I was at 1090 by 1980. Is it immediately over? Oh, dude, ah, okay, 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 okay stop. <laughs> I only did 25 megahertz and the screen was like, ah, ah, ah. 735. <laughs> ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> You're gonna freaking murder this thing before we get it to work. Why? <laughs> what is happening? So for he Heaven, for some reason, isn't isn't using Crossfire, which is odd because I know it's a title that supports it. So we're just gonna test it right now with um, 3D Mark. Collecting system info, it's like, hey, yo, Jimmy, check this out, look what we got. <laughs> yes, <laughs> He's eating his lunch, what is it? <laughs> Holy <laughs> a 5970. When's the last time we saw one of those? I don't know what to expect FPS wise. 15 maybe? Okay. Wow, I'm not that far off on these guesses. Holy stuff. <laughs> That's scary. Hey, look at that. GP1, N2. Dang, that was crossfire performance. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay. Oh, we can't run Port Royal. <laughs> okay, if I can make my best guess based on hardware back then, what we have now, the CPU potential uplift, I actually feel like a, a score in the 4000s is gonna happen. What? The smoke was like <laughs> This is the equivalent equivalent in like the Angry Birds movie where they find the fat eagle in the cave and he has to be the hero again, but he's fat and he's old. This one's gonna be so bad, dude, with the particle effects. As long as it doesn't crash. That's your goal score? Not crash? Yeah. <laughs> this is so much dude, this is 3 Mark 09 was what was around at this time. Dude. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are seeing this exactly as we are. 10, 11. You can do it, I nine, don't anybody. 12. And it's taking two cores to do it. Almost there. <laughs> oh yeah, I said somewhere in the 4000s. I'm not so convinced anymore. Oh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've done this a few times. The score, the score just grip. <laughs> <laughs> Graphic score, physics score, combined score. Some data could not be parsed. <laughs> It was like, we don't know. Hey, we're better 8%. than 8%. I, I feel bad for the other 8%. Dude, you're better than an office laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. What, what, what other? Superposition. Nick, get the fire extinguisher. You can do it. Hey! <laughs> oh my God, it's ray tracing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so surprised that it's even going. We'll get the, the superposition score, and then I'm gonna play a game of Rocket League with this card. And then off camera, we'll just run the 6800, and then we'll show you guys on charts what, how it compares. I mean, I think it's gonna be like, beep, beep. <laughs> I would take a 1060 over this card right now. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like four times faster. <laughs> okay, 1060, good to know. Let's, uh, let's write that down, so. Oh, it was Crossfire, there's two GPUs detected. What? Yeah, no, I don't think so, because SLI doesn't work in that test. What? Okay, maybe it does. It was the FPS in Crossfire, oh my god! Dude, the temps though. Maxed out at 69 on one and 54 on the on the other one. So we're running at 1920 by 1080 in Rocket League. And remember, this card, <clears throat> that one over there, was not recommended for 1080p. So why not just go into a comp 1v1? Well, you need to go comp? <laughs> why not? I don't care about my account. Yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, I got there a little too fast. Yeah. Wow, I really won that kickoff. There we go. Oh, he left it, okay. Nope, right over his head. Yeah. Let's go. Adapt, overcome, Improvise. defeat. Improvise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little stuttery, like there's a few stutters every now and then. Over his head, bump him. And get in there. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> I had to call it out loud so it didn't look like luck. Look, I was like, no you don't. Pfft, get out of here. Give me that bad. 
And flip over his head. And he's watching it. <laughs> crossfire! <laughs> crossfire! <laughs> no! Oh, he almost crossbarred it too. He almost All right. That was a good match. That was actually a really good match. I'll take it. Absolutely was SLI or crossfiring. I feel like this driver in this card is much better at like applying crossfire to things that don't support necessarily crossfire natively. But that's, I mean, that's how things used to be back then and they suck now because nobody wants to support it. All right, but you know what we gotta do now? We're gonna throw the 6800 on here and we're just gonna, for lulls, make our own little graph of what it looks like, starting at scale zero to max. So I just got done testing the 6800 uh, again, because I mean, we, we already had point or scores for this, but we didn't run regular fire strike really. So superposition extreme score of 1060. That's less than one point per vertical pixel. The 6800 got an 8463. So it's like eight times faster. That's crossfire. So it's literally 16 times faster core for core. Um, if we take a look at the fire strike scores, yeah, I'll just, if we look at the charts here, a score of 3451 total versus a 29,577. Uh, the GPU score alone, a 3449 versus a 45,680. The point of this video was just to, to do a fun comparison of something this old. This literally as old as my oldest child. I was barely a parent when this came out. And to see how far things have come and to kind of bring it back to an era of, of folks that may not have been around in P the PC world when something like this was just cool. It was cool. It was just, it was, I mean, if you had this, you were, you were super PCMR. You were super elite. The dual graphics card boards, I mean, the, the, the GTX 590, right? The GTX 295, the 5970, the 7970. That was an era that was just like super cool where manufacturers could just literally have that F1 race amongst each other. Who could spend the most money and make the fastest card just for the bragging rights and no practical use case for it? Like Group B rally? Yeah, it's just, it, it was like, it was, it was just racing and it was fun. And I'm sad that that is just gone in today's so in today's world just, it's kind of boring to be honest. So I miss days like this. Uh, the last time we saw anything cool, I think was when like the, I think it was the six, uh, the, the Mars card from Asus, which had, which had like two 660s on it or something like that, or two 760s, which was, I mean, it's kind of like, why take two low end dies like that and then SLI them on a single board? Because you could. So anyway, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. I like to collect old cards. I do, I, I, I've got 580s, 680s. I'm starting to work on some older stuff, an 8800 Ultra, something I'm after. That was still my favorite card I've ever owned just because of the, the, the coolness that surrounded it. It was the highest card I'd ever owned, like my first high-end card. So huge thanks to Brian at BPS Customs from, uh, for sending this to me to take a look at and add to my collection. So if you guys have any old cards that uh, maybe you're willing to let go of, um, hit me up, maybe we'll make a deal. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, subscribe, 31 Days of J.